Hi hey folks, welcome back to E3 2014. Max and Sean here, and Sean, you just got to look at what could possibly be one of the darkest games at the show, The Sims 4. I just sat in on a half hour Sims 4 demo in which they built up the personalities of these two Sims, yep. and the lives and all the intimate details. You really got invested? Yeah, and then they died in a fire at the end because they were laughing themselves to death. So why is that such a theme with this new Sims game? Because they showed that as well in the in the press conference trailer. Yeah. It was like, you can laugh literally to death. So, okay, so the official tagline of The Sims 4 is smarter Sims, weirder stories. And it seems okay. like they're like really lean, leaning into the absurdity of like different situations you can get yourself into okay. in The Sims. So basically, like you have a lot more control over their personalities when you're creating them. You right. can like you can make somebody who's like super cool and friendly, or you can make somebody who's a total dick, and mm -hmm. then you choose like all their little obsessive traits. Like this guy is a foodie, or this guy is a wine snob, or this guy is evil. This guy's a bro. and that's gonna affect how they get along with the other. Yeah, Sims and essentially that affects like how they deal with people and like and all kinds of stuff like that. So when the demo started, one of the two guys was in like a really intense rage because he had uh, a dispute with another sim earlier okay. and just couldn't get over it. <laughs> Could not deal. Because one of his traits was he just doesn't let go. <laughs> so he was so angry oh that it unlocked new uh, emotion actions. Whoa. So one of them was... Whoa. Rage workout. So he did like rage sit ups and angry push ups. And now, are those any different from normal sit ups and oh, push ups? He, do you, yes. Or do you just have a big oh, frowny face? No, just he's like, like oh, 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 and angry and just screaming the whole time. Okay. And then eventually they go to the gym so he can really get into it. And at the gym, they run into Chuck Norris. And Chuck well, Norris became do. his mentor. And of course, Chuck Norris is working out in jeans and cowboy boots and his yeah. hat and his Texas. Those are Rangers. just grafted to his body at this point. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then eventually, they they decide to throw a party, and weirdly, at the party, uh, they have all their friends over, and they're having a good time, but then the Craigslist ro roommate comes back from work, and the Craigslist roommate is Kim Jong-un, why? Who is a oh, no. <laughs> North Korean dictator, yeah. but in The Sims, he's Not just somebody you roommate. want as your roommate. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Guy's kind of a dick. And so they're like, you know what? We gotta, we gotta distract this guy. He loves making cupcakes. Okay. We're gonna set him to making cupcakes in the kitchen. The only problem is that he really sucks at making cupcakes. And he started a fire. Mm -hmm. And because these two Sims, their personality traits were their bros, and they just laugh at terrible things because they're awful people. Mm -hmm. They were laughing at the fire. They're having a good time with it. And then they died from choking on carbon monoxide. Sean, I gotta tell you, this story that you've it's weaved dark. for me. It sounds like I'm making it up. It was a weird just roller coaster <laughs> yeah. of crazy that I thought yeah. was gonna get back on the rails at some point, but it didn't. Yeah. It ended with everybody dying in a grease fire. It, well, it, maybe not technically a grease well, fire, a but fire definitely sorts. a cooking fire of some kind. But yeah, so it's it's really about like drilling down into the personalities okay. of these Sims and like the weird little social interactions they can get into because of their like very specific traits yeah. that you've assigned them when you created them. And it, it's, it's cool, you know, because we all play Sims. At the end of the day, some people play the Sims like a dick. Yeah. And they like, you know, locking them in the bathroom so they poop themselves to death. Of course, and like you do. And it seems like they're just kind of taking that general sense of absurdity and extrapolating it to the rest of the game. And now there's all kinds of like craziness you can get into. But at the same time, you know, it's still a Sims game. They're still doing like actually really cool, interesting stuff. Like the fact that you can download like pre built rooms that people have designed and then you just drop that into your house okay. and you do it. so it's other stuff like that more technical uh, so it's not just all the insanity it's, and the yeah the, it's the not mind like a trickery. crazy absurdist fever dream there okay are, you know there are actual improvements but they're really le leaning into the ridiculous <laughs> stuff at least in like the pr campaign which sure yeah no totally well, hopefully the rest of us here at GameSpot don't die in a horrible cupcake-related accident, and we'll continue bringing you exciting E3 2014 coverage. Stay tuned, one way or the other. That's my life. Uh, I try to be like Maxwell as hey, much as I can. Let's high-five real quick. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Nailed it.